Hey everybody, what's going on? Ruben, Texas, all water fishing. I am waking up this morning to see that we have some very strong winds. They're gusting about 24, 26 miles an hour. So we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to fish a new spot, a fairly covered spot that's going to help protect from the wind. I know we'll probably still run into some wind. I've never fished here before. Just call my buddy Eric. Actually, just message Eric, send him the pin drop or where we're going to meet up. So, wish us luck trying to stay out of the wind, trying to stay safe, but yet trying to go out there and catch some fish. Now, typically, when it comes to fishing a new spot, I do get those new spot, new spot skunks. Sorry, I hadn't had my coffee yet, still trying to wake up, but I will get those new fishy spot skunks. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen today. But thanks. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, catch me hooking up. Thanks. All right, well, I put a spinner, little roll runner blade on. It's just because it seems like real fresh here. The water does. I'm gonna put a cope on because I haven't even had a bite. I haven't seen a blow up. I've seen a little, plenty of bait, a lot of mullet, but just not a lot of fish activity. So, that being said, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to cope it up. Switch it up. New penny. Chartreuse tail. Curl tail. I'm going to switch it up right here. Red. Golly, this current made it impossible. Huh? I said the wind current made it impossible. It? Yeah. Man. I told you, hey bro, watching you fish is like the best part of my day. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that current made it impossible. I couldn't oh, couldn't get my rudder. I was gonna and then I wouldn't want to miss them because I have them on a road runner blade. Yeah. Short little hook shaft. Very short hook shaft. All right, so we got this guy here. Let's see if we can show him. Very thin, very skinny guy. It's gonna be undersized, I think. Right in the corner of the mouth there. Purdy color though. This guy is really purdy. Purdy color. Let's see if we can get him open his mouth. There we go. Like I said, I think it's gonna be undersized. Just fishing the grass line, casting and casting, you know, straight retrieve back, and he got tricked. Nope, he is 21 and three quarters. Perfect size. Perfect size. Let's look at his how goat he is. 
pretty fish. Just barely hooked. They didn't. They wouldn't even set. Go. Yeah. So this is what I was using right here. These little curl tail gopes. Really was limited when we went to the home, uh, academy the other day. Picked them up to fish around the rocks, rock groins. So I had a few more. Never fishing here before. Always targeting you. I always try to fish a new area. I always try to bring some gope with me. Just in case. Kind of. I want to say last resort, but. It's like a safety net. Fishing with gope, where. In my mind. In my odds, and. That I'll be able to catch catch something with them because not only because of their movement but their scent, that real strong scent. So would I have caught that red with something else? I don't know. Probably, you know, just put it right in front of his face. Got lucky, made him strike. It could have been a reaction strike, really, because we had a full moon last night. So in my mind, they're not really going to be hungry first thing in the morning. So you get that, you have that full belly. You're not really gonna wanna bite a piece of plastic or an imitation of bait. So got that guy to bite, he felt good. We have a pretty strong wind gust behind us. Probably gonna save maybe around 15, 17 mile an hour wind gust behind us. So kind of made it difficult to net. And like I said, I was using this Roadrunner blade right here. If you can see it, this is the here's the setup, and then here's pretty much where it's almost like a weed list because it's so close to the body. But well, we're gonna keep casting. Let's see if we get another one. Yep. yep. Oh no, he got off. Well, yep. Hit this grass line. They're probably all right here too. I'm trying to find a grass line like real flat like this. He chomped it twice, but so I thought I had him. Felt small though. Yeah. He hit it twice and swam it towards me, you know? He said thump thump. And then when he moved it toward me, I'm like, oh man, I got this guy for sure. Negative. Negative, buddy. But right before I wanted to set the hook, I saw something go that way. Somebody swim off, one of his buddies. Or bait, if he's scared bait. But it looks like a good spot for a flounder. You got the wind, it's protected, real calm over here. Maybe. Yep. That's what I would say, man. Got to get that wind blown. Fish the wind blown and fish the tips. Look at that, Eric. He got off. He came out. No, he's in the he's in the kayak. He's in the net. He's a baby, but you know what? We'll measure him just for fun. Uh, little guy let's see where he's gonna be at just at 13 cute little guy he grew up to be bigger all right so that's gonna do it today Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing came out today. My boy Eric came in, scouted out a new place. You know, it had some potential. It was nice because it has a lot of cover, so we're not we weren't getting any of those really strong 24, 26 mile an hour wind gusts like we're getting in Galveston today. So it was nice to be able to spot have a spot like this that we can come out of the weather. The bite just wasn't there, but we had a new moon last night, so maybe those fish are just full. I'm not really too sure, but probably hit this hit this spot again and and see. 
give it another shot see how we do next time but hey thanks for coming back don't forget like comment share and subscribe to next time hopefully catch us hook it up